What's up everyone? Just got back from my classes and I want to make a quick video for you guys about the eight steps to successfully reskinning an app. Let's get into the video. So step one is selecting a platform for your reskin. This is a pretty important step because this will dictate uh, what tools you use for the rest of the process. So there's three main options. You can submit it to the iOS App Store, you can submit it to the Amazon Store, or you can submit it to the Google Play Store. Amazon and Google Play both use Android, so they're basically the same thing. But uh, my first recommendation, of course, is always go with iOS if possible, because you'll get the most money from those reskins, because uh, iOS apps have more value. Um, if you don't want to do iOS apps, I would highly recommend doing Amazon apps because I've had a lot of success with those too. Um, I reskinned some like fidget spinner apps that were for Amazon and uh, that was making me $500 a month at one time. And then it also sold on Flipa for a good amount too. But uh, Android is the one platform for, for the Google Play Store. I've never had any success with it. Um, they don't really sell for that much and there's a lot of bad ones up on Flippa, so I think people are careful about buying uh, Google Play apps. So once you select your platform, you're going to want to create a developer account for that platform. For Apple, it's $99 a year. For Amazon, it's free. And for Google, I think it's something like $20 for like uh, a permanent membership. So that is step one. Step two is going to be creating a strategy for your reskin. So before you purchase anything or create a template, you want to decide, are you going for something long-term or something short-term? And what I mean by long-term and short-term is whether you're going to be reskinning this app multiple times. The short-term strategy is playing off of hype. So a lot of times there are games in the app store that are doing really well. So you create a different version of that and then you release it, let it make some money and then uh, sell it on Flippo. You can really only uh, make this type of app once and uh, reskinning it multiple times doesn't really work out too well. So that's why this is the short-term strategy. But this can work very well to make a lot of money very quickly. The long-term strategy is an app that you want to reskin many, many times in the future. Like I've had an app that I've sold probably over 20 times, which is an e-commerce app. Um, this method is usually more expensive because the templates are more advanced and uh, it takes a little more time to reskin too. But you can reskin it many times in the future and long-term this will make you much more than the typical short-term strategy reskin. Um, so I would recommend doing a mixture of both, maybe for your first time do a short term one just to get a feel since it's cheaper. And that is about it for the strategy step. Step three is to purchase or create your template. So if you don't have any skill coding in Swift or in Java or any of those languages, uh, you're going to want to purchase a template. Uh, purchasing a template, like I've said before, can cost anywhere from like $50 to like maybe around $250. Some of them even go for way more than that if they're advanced. Um, usually I purchase my templates from Chupa Mobile, but there's also uh, a website called Envato Market that has pretty cheap reskins, but you have to be careful about the licensing. Uh, sometimes they have certain licenses where you cannot resell the app, uh, so be very careful about that. Um, make sure you get into a niche that uh, is a successful one. Um, I would recommend e-commerce or social media, something like that. Don't do anything simple like a wallpaper app or a photography app. I've done these before and they do okay, but you can't really sell them too many times, um, especially wallpaper apps. Apple rejects them a lot since there's so many of them and they don't sell for that much, usually under $50. So it is not worth the time or the risk of getting rejected by Apple. Um, if you want to create a template, this will take longer, but this is 
uh, it has a lot more value to the customers, so you're going to see bigger returns on this. So I would highly recommend figuring out how to create your own template, even though it may take longer initially. Um, but of course, if you just want to start quickly, uh, I would purchase something from Chupa Mobile or Envato Market and start reskinning that. So for step four, you've already purchased or created your template, so now you have to reskin it. And reskinning just consists of changing images, changing words, and uh, all of that type of thing. So really just changing the look and the aesthetics of the app. Uh, this part usually takes the longest because you have to go into the program and manually change colors or pictures or words. Um, just give it a different feel. and. Uh, this is probably, this is a pretty important part because it'll be used for the screenshots, which people see, and they'll also test out the app before they purchase it. So take some time to make it uh, at least moderately nice, but don't spend too long. I wouldn't spend more than like a couple hours on it. And uh, once you reskin it, you're almost there. Once you have your working reskin, you need to create all of the data that will be displayed on the App Store for whichever platform you chose. So the main components to those are the screenshots, the app icons, and then the stuff like descriptions and keywords and uh, ratings for the app. So this should take about one hour, uh, yeah, probably around one hour to do all of this, um, especially once you get good at it. I've already created videos on how to create an app icon and how to create screenshots very quickly. So for this stuff, you guys should definitely check those out. Uh, those methods have helped me save a ton of time in creating screenshots and app icons because that's something that can really take a lot of time for beginners because they think they have to create like a hundred different sign, uh, sized icons and screenshots, but in reality, that's not how it is. So make sure you spend some time on the icon because this is what people will see on Flippa and uh, this will grab their attention. So if you have a really good, unique icon, uh, it'll stand out and people are more likely to click on your listing and bid. So that will lead to a better sale price. At this point, you've already created your reskin. You already have your screenshots, your app icon, your description. All of that stuff is all figured out. So all you have to do is release the app. Uh, in my experience for Apple, the reviews can take anywhere from one day to like two weeks. But usually it's just a few days. So in that time, you can either work on another reskin or just wait around for it. Um, hopefully it'll get approved because Apple can be pretty annoying sometimes. Uh, for Amazon, it, usually only takes a few hours to get approved, uh, like probably three to six hours, and it'll either be approved or rejected. They're a lot more relaxed than Apple is. And then for the Google Play Store, there is not even a review, so they're the easiest to get through. Uh, so as soon as you submit it, it's already gonna be getting put onto the App Store. Um, so at this point, you are 90% of the way done with this reskin. Once you've created your app and it's already live, you are going to need to create a Flippa listing. This part is the most essential part of the process, in my opinion, because this is where you're going to actually be getting your customers to bid on the app and uh, increase the sale price. So you want to go to Flippa.com and they allow people to buy and sell apps and websites and domain names and stuff like that. So create an account with them and then you want to create a new listing. So every listing for an app will cost $9 upfront. Um, don't worry about this price too much. I know it's annoying you have to pay, but you should easily be able to make this back. So don't let the $9 listing fee scare you away. Uh, I know it made me worried when I submitted my first app, but even my first app uh, got me $50, so I made my money back many times. Um, so when you create a Flippa listing, you basically just put in the URL of your app and then you put in a title, the reserve price, the buy it now price, 
the length of the auction, which I recommend 14 days. That is uh, the optimized length. Uh, and you create a description for the listing, which is very important. Uh, this is the section where you really sell your app and make people want to purchase it. Um, I, it took me a long time to perfect this part, so I'll probably create another video about that later. Um, this process should probably take about 30 minutes to write everything out. Uh, it's really not too bad, especially once you've done it a couple of times. And then once you create your description and then put in the link and all of that type of stuff, you need to select a payment method. And I would highly advise only selecting PayPal for this because I've tried Flippa escrow before and it always just causes problems with me. Um, it takes a long time to get your money and you have to go through this process and it's really annoying. So just select PayPal and uh, once the auction ends, as soon as the person sees the auction ended, hopefully they'll pay you and you'll get your money instantly. Sometimes people do not pay, but you can relist the app for free if something like that happens. So once you submit that, it'll take a few hours for Flippo to verify it. And then after that, you can put your listing live. And at this point, you're basically at the finish line. Once all the bids have been accepted, 14 days have gone by, or whatever you set your auction length to be, uh, you have finally sold your app. So this is probably the easiest part. Uh, you collect your money, and then after that, you transfer the app. So make sure you have good communication with your buyer, and make sure they do pay you first before you transfer anything. And uh, the easiest platform to transfer is definitely Apple, uh, and I have the most experience with that one, of course, too. But you basically just ask them for a few of their account details, and on the developer page for Apple, there's a button to transfer the app, and then you can easily just put in their information and everything's transferred. And then usually I use Dropbox to submit the code to them, because usually the code's too big of a file to transfer over email. Um, for Amazon, the process is more complex. There's guides on it on the internet, but uh, it's kind of annoying and um, you have to like contact Amazon support and stuff to transfer it. So that's a little annoying, but it's not terrible. And then I don't think I've ever transferred an app for the Google Play Store before, so I don't have any experience with that. You can definitely just search it up and there will be guides for it. So at this point, you have successfully sold your first reskin and you have made a good amount of money for spending not really too much time. I would estimate that the most you would spend on something like this is maybe three hours. The fastest is probably one hour on everything. And uh, as you do this more and more, you'll get a lot faster at it. and. Uh, it's honestly a pretty fun process, especially the reskinning part with the design and everything. And it makes a good amount of money, so that's a plus too. So now that you've sold your first reskin and you have experience with everything, just keep going and keep reskinning this app as many times as possible. And with the profits that you have, purchase more reskins and reskin those apps too. Uh, eventually, hopefully you'll be able to build a good enough income uh, to be your primary income. And uh, I know it's definitely possible. In January, I was able to make over $6,000 just to reskinning apps. So it's definitely a possibility. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. And I hope to create some more videos in detail on each of the steps uh, to give you more information about reskinning apps. Uh, please give this video a like and uh, subscribe to me if you enjoy this content. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.